to the exercises that I'd like to share with you, one of which is by reducing your speed, not even keeping to the maximum speed limit that you're allowed by law, you can reduce your fuel consumption by as much as 15%. From 90 kilometers an hour going up to 110 kilometers per hour, you will increase your fuel consumption by at least 15%. So if you keep within the speed limit and reduce your speed, particularly if you're towing, you're going to save a massive amount of fuel. The other way is by driving in a way that you can anticipate traffic moves. When you're coming up to an intersection, most people will wait till the right or the light turns red and then they will brake and come to a stop. If you're driving 15 seconds ahead of you, you will notice that the intersection is going to be closed, the robot is going to be turning red. So you can slow down, get into the appropriate gear and approach the intersection so that you can just drive through. Because that way, without having to accelerate from zero up to 60 again, you're going to save another 20% of fuel. The benefit, of course, is that you will prevent the probability or possibility of you being hijacked if you're going through an intersection that could be dark. Uh, when it comes to trucks, we need to remember that the truck technology is so far advanced today. Most of them are automatics. And as a result, uh, the power that's available load can be moved very easily at relatively high speeds very safely. Now when we look at eco driving with a truck driver, the idea is that they should always be driving in what we refer to the green band. Maximum torque, the lowest possible power, so that the vehicle's engine is operating very efficiently. One of the tips that a driver can take away with him is on approaching a hill. We know that what they're inclined to do is accelerate all the way to the top of the hill and they press the ridge they then cut back the throttle. Uh, eco driving it means that when you approach the crest of the hill long before you do that you will have learned the skill to slow down so that you crest the hill at the appropriate speed because in that last bit leading up to it the vehicle's momentum is carrying you through and if the engine is not working you're saving fuel.